Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be going through an example of how we might be able to use the intermediate value theorem to solve a calculus problem. All right, let's use the intermediate value theorem to show that e to the x minus 7 and uh, let's say e to the 6x minus 20 intersect. So if we're trying to show that these two functions intersect, if we were to look at the graph of them, we'd have like e to the x minus 7, and then we'd have e to the 6x minus 20. So they're going to be doing something like this. So what we would want to do is maybe we could say that, um, like for example, if we could find the x value where they intersect, that would be enough to show that they intersect but solving for that would be something that would probably be fairly complicated. What we could do is we could create a new function that might be able to help us and we could use the intermediate value theorem to do so. So let's say that we say that f of x is equal to uh, e to the x minus 7 minus e to the 6x minus 20. So in other words, what this is measuring is this is measuring what this distance is. So on this side, this distance would be positive, and on this side, the distance would be negative. So what we would hope to be able to find is find an x value where this is negative and an x value where it is positive. So let's rewrite what f of x is a little bit more clearly. So this is f of x equals e to the x minus e to the 6x uh, minus 7 plus 20, so plus 13. So let's plug in some different values and see what we would get. So for example, f of 0, that is going to be 1 minus 1 plus 13 equals 13. So at 0, it's positive. Let's then look at what about another point. So let's try f of, uh, let's try something that's bigger than 0. So let's look at um, maybe the natural log of 2. So f of the natural log of 2. This is e to the natural log of 2 minus e to the 6 natural log of 2 plus 13. So this is uh, e to the natural log of 2 minus e to the natural log of 2 to the 6 using log rules. Remember that a log base b of c is equal to log base b of c to the a. That's a logarithm rule. So that's how we were able to go from 6 ln 2 to ln of 2 to the 6. And then we have a plus 13. So e to the natural log of 2, that's 2, minus 2 to the 6 plus 13. Let's see, 2 to the 6, that goes 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So this is 2 minus 64 plus 13 which is definitely less than zero. So what we have is we have, we have successfully shown that f of zero is greater than zero and f of ln of two is less than zero. And so since f is continuous, um, that means from the intermediate value theorem, so that symbol means there exists, so I'll just write it out. So there exists some C such that zero is less than C is less than the natural log of two, where, whoops, go back to blue. where f of c equals 0. Now, if f of c equals 0, that means that e to the c minus 7 is equal to e to the 6c minus 20. We don't know what it is, but we have successfully shown that those two curves do intersect because there is a c value right here that's going to show exactly where they intersect.
I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. Uh, please check out some of my other videos and please like and subscribe if you have not already so I can continue to make these sorts of videos. Have a great day and good luck with the rest of your math.